First up this evening, disturbing new details today in the case of a Valley father accused of kidnapping his son in Peoria and killing the child's mother when she tried to stop him. And this new information is coming from his own words in court records. And Jared, they show he admitted to police he stole the mother's van with the baby inside and then ran her over. Carissa has been working this story for us. She is live at Peoria Police Headquarters with more on this. Carissa. That suspect is now facing a charge of premeditated murder. According to these court records, a suspect told investigators that what happened to Brittany Walker as she was trying to save her baby boy was no accident. We're very happy that we have Eric in custody and that's what we want our public to know is they're now safe. Peoria police discussing the arrest of Eric Mays, the man who sparked an Amber Alert when he stole his ex's minivan and took off with their son. Court documents detail 911 calls that came in Wednesday describing Brittany Walker's struggle to save 10 month old Abel. One caller heard a woman yell stop and help. Another caller reported seeing the van spin out and hit an electrical box. A third caller said they found a woman wrapped around a fire hydrant. After Mays was tracked down and arrested in North Phoenix a day later, documents say he told investigators he and Brittany were fighting in the van when she jumped out. Records say Eric turned the van around and hit Brittany on purpose. The young mother later died at the hospital. Abel was found abandoned but safe outside of Phoenix home. Police are seeking tips and leads to help them understand how the incident unfolded. We don't know if we contacted every single person who called 911 that night. That's part of this ongoing investigation. Today, Brittany's family is suffering another loss. They tell me DCS has decided to place Abel with the suspect's sister. I asked the agency for comment. They said they can't talk about it because of confidentiality laws, but Brittany's family says they're talking to a lawyer. Reporting live at Peoria PD, Carissa Planel for Arizona's family. What a heartbreaking story. Carissa, thank you.